I'm Mr. Natural, the newbie with the doobie with too much time on his hands, and this is my PS4 2016 flashback. Started out of the gate pretty good and completed Bloodborne. Played the old hunters. That was one of the best games on PS4 in my opinion. You know, followed that up pretty quick with uh, Far Cry Prime. Pre-ordered it, and that was my first Far Cry game, and I dug the shit out of that one. Even got myself a platinum trophy in it. And those were some of my better videos that I made this year too. I got to look, and it looks like I made about 200 videos this year. That's kind of crazy. I keep throwing shit at the wall to see if it sticks. And one of the Far Cry Primal ones did. I had this one called Far Cry Primal Porn. Uh, which was just a stupid little, you know, two-minute video of some dry humping with me doing some stupid commentary on it. And it was getting like a thousand hits a month on it. I was like well over 7,000 hits on that one and got a fucking community guideline strike. But anyway, and then Witcher. Played a lot of Witcher, uh, Blood and Wine. That was a fucking awesome one. And after the Far Cry Primal porn bullshit, I had to go through all my videos that had any sort of sex or anything that was at least bit questionable and take them down. I saw my actual view count drop a whole bunch. Um, and then I got all into uh, Salt and Sanctuary, which is like an indie Souls-like game. 2D side-scroller. I dug the shit out of it. I came really close to getting a platinum in that, and that kind of tidied me over and got me an appetite for these indie games. But anyway, then Dark Souls 3 came out. That was awesome. I kind of uh, went through that one real good. I'm, uh, I, some of these games are hard to get platinums, and they're ones that I want to play again, but new stuff keeps coming out. And then I got into, uh, Shadow of the Beast. Salt and Sanctuary gave me a taste for, uh, the indie games, and I really got into, uh, Shadow of the Beast. It's not a game that anybody really cared about too much, but it came out this year. It was fairly cheap. I got a platinum in that one, too. That one, I still think about that one. I really enjoyed that one. And then Fury. That one was another one of these independent games. And it was free. PlayStation Plus, you could get that one for free. Uh, harder than crap. But on easy, I was able to go all the way through it. I made videos of it that I really like. I mean, because it was just a crazy game. Love that game. I want to get back to it and hopefully, you know, maybe try and actually be able to beat some of the stuff on normal levels. Uh, then I played through Lords of the Fall, and it was on sale. It was even a free game this year. Played through it. That was a decent game. Uh, real slow and sluggish. I, later, I went back and looked at some of the reviews, and ah, not so good. And then Neverwinter. Neverwinter is fucking an awesome game. But I've also kind of lost my taste for multiplayer games. I never thought I'd ever... Uh, unsub to DC Universe Online. Been playing it for five years, and it just... All of a sudden, it just kind of crashed on me, and I just don't care about it anymore. I'm really surprised. Um, what else came out? Oh, there's the Batman, the Telltale series. That's that's good. I enjoyed it. I never really did too much of the Telltale stuff, but that one, uh, that one, I enjoyed. It it was good. And in the process, since I bought it, I got uh, the Wolf Among Us, and that one blew me away. That was a great game. Uh, that one turns out to be, uh, you know, like fairy tales, fables, stories from uh, Vertigo Comics. Uh, and then there's the whole No Man's Sky. And as much as some people hated that, I love that game. I still like that game. Granted, it does. It, it um, And they did an update that was pretty good to it, too. Uh, I still have hope for that one, even though most people have written that one off. Uh, what else? Oh, then the Destiny came back. Um, I bought into Destiny again, and there was some good stuff in that. I enjoyed that uh, quite a bit. So about this time, even despite the fact that I had gotten that community guideline strike, I was trying to grow my channel and I was starting to get quite a few hits. I got a whole bunch of hits on the oh, Destiny boy, stuff and I decided to do a blog, kind of redo my whole 420 project into the 420 show and put one of those up with my little disappointment about uh, No Man's Sky. I even went off the rails with my stoned Man's Sky trying to kind of overproduce a little uh, video. Um, but then I got hit with that guy damn uh, AdSense illegal clicks. I mean, I had one week in there where my uh, views went off the charts, and then that just popped my bubble big time, and I got kind of depressed there for, and hardly put out any videos after that. I mean, when I went off the rails even more over on uh, this old Stoner's channel, and if you didn't know about that one, I played a whole bunch of 
games over there. I played Metal Gear Solid. I played Uncharted, uh, The Stick of Truth, uh, Divinity. Uh, yeah, that was. I kind of think of that channel as my my live channel. Um, but that's all I'm gonna put on for this 420 flashback. Besides the two coolest games that have come out recently was The Last Guardian and Final Fantasy 15. You know, those are probably part of my flashback 2017. But anyway, that's the end of this video. And if you enjoyed it, give me a like. And if you want to see more of this kind of crap, uh, subscribe. I'm Mr. Natural, a newbie with a doobie with too much time on his hands. And this is my PS4 2016 flashback.